Hey Trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Trackies, please remember to smash that like button and of course subscribe to the channel. Trackies, this year one year, hot, hot. What am I talking about? The women's 100 meter hurdles. It's going to go down, Trackies. I am so excited watching the progress of our female athletes, the athletes that have showed up and ran PBs in the semifinals, Trackies, and are going to challenge for, you know, one of only three spots on the team. Trackies, right now my head is in shambles, but it's excited shambles. Now, of course, I'm going to break down exactly what happened in each semifinal. Now, Trackies, in semifinal number one, we we had Yannick Thomason Chakis taking it in a new personal best Chakis. I've been waiting for her and she has arrived. 12.53 seconds Chakis to defeat Akira Nugent. 12.80 seconds and Paula Salmon was just behind them. 12.95 seconds and Demisha Roswell 13.83 seconds not having her best season. Chakis clearly in this race um, as it relates to Akira she was just doing enough to qualify she was not pushing the pace and that is why you know you see her well back but not to take anything from um yannick thompson she attacked this race track is and she got for herself a new personal best i can't tell you how long i've been waiting to see y yannick thompson busway and i'm just so excited seeing her run this well you know in her semi-final to of course grab one of three automatic qualifying spots to the finals now the top three that i mentioned obviously are automatically qualified to the next round now track is moving on to the second semi-finals this is where track is the athlete my sister the older people track is are wiser you need to listen to them <laughs> So, my sister is wise, and she always says to me, never count out Megan. Megan always arrives. Even when I see people around her doing much better than she is in the season, you know, I always lean towards them, and my sister is like, are you crazy? Megan always turns up, and boy, I tell you, Trackies, Megan turned up tonight. 12.44 seconds, Trackies, to obliterate her personal best track is taking the win in this race and of course the field track is another athlete that ran a personal best in this field amoy brown 12.61 seconds track is another mvp athlete turning up at this trials track is daniel williams the one that i was expecting you know to take this race 12.61 seconds track is and crystal morrison 12.70 seconds in fourth place now track is as i did say Top three go through to the finals, and um, that would be the first three um, from Megan, Amoy, and Daniel. Now, Crystal does go through based on her time, and um, also the fifth place finisher, which is Rosalie Cooper in this race, will also go through. Track is this was a hot race. It was literally a close to a blanket, you would say, until Megan separated herself in this race. Track is it was very, very impressive by Megan. I can't wait to see what happens in finals remember we only sent three to the world championships and based on how things are look right now we have megan pop popping up we had daniel williams you know we were always expecting something from her but now you, you have an, another athlete amoy brown plus also yannick turns up and then of course we're expecting akira to turn things up a notch in the finals who takes that top three spots track is <laughs> You know, I'm just going to call one. I'm going to call Akira Nugent and the next um, spots are up for grabs. It is that close. It's that exciting and I can't wait. Chuckies, this has been a year of ushering new faces into our teams and I welcome them. I've been seeing new faces across each event. And you know what? I'm excited to see what they do on the world stage. But before they get there, obviously, they have to make, you know, the team. So let's see how that goes. Also, an athlete that didn't start. I think we already heard this information previously. Karika Hill did not start um, in her semifinal. All right, track is moving on. Let's take a look at the men's 110 meter hurdles. Now, right off the bat, track is just want to give you a little update. Ronald Levy did not start in the semifinal for the men's 110 meter hurdles now with that said track is let's jump into the results 
and Rashid Broadbell came up in semifinal number one, Jackies, and he took it running 13.06 seconds. Jackies, impressive run by Rashid, looks much cleaner over the hurdles, and most importantly, his start, his start, his start, his start looked phenomenal. I'm excited to see what he's able to do in the finals. Behind him, automatically qualifying, and the only other qualifier out of this race was Arlanda Bennett. He ran 13.24 seconds. Track is for another uh, good run from him. Uh, my only question when it comes to uh, Arlanda Bennett, considering that he had such a good run against Rashid Broadbell, was the way he, he he clears the hurdles. Now, to me, it looks like he's you know hopping over the hurdles. I don't know the technical term for it, but yeah, that's something that I noticed, and it looked as though you know that was preventing him from going much faster um, over the hurdles because it looks like he can go much faster. But if that technique you know if he cleans up that area um he will be able to as i said go much faster but let's see um what happens in the future but for now great run from him taking him through to the finals now track is in semi-final number two tyler mason he's been the man of the season he has come back into the sport and is doing damage here and finally he was able to you know shatter that pre that personal best you know we saw him at racers grand prix looking good but that wind was above the allowable this time it was smack dead at 2.0 meters per second so 13.12 seconds taking the win track is very very cleanly executed race very easy race as well um to take that win behind him gianna roberts track is also qualified running 13.33 seconds and also from this race um is Dejour russell qualifying 13 point three nine seconds not making it through track is was philip lemonios i talked about this previously where i said that you know he needs to hurt clean up his hurdling technique track is and that was his downfall um this time around as well he hit every hurdle from gun to tape track is um he definitely has to clean up his hurdle technique if he wants to challenge especially what's going on with jamaica in the hurdles right now has to clean it up tough luck for him i remember what happened to him the last time around he was you know challenging for a spot as well and he was not able to make it because of the same issue i'm hoping that you know going forward he'll be able to clean it up and really challenge because i'm looking forward to seeing what philip limones can do really over the hurdles because again if he's so messy and he can run this well just imagine what will happen when he cleans it all up it track is you know what I mean? Also, track is final, semi final. We had hands of parchment come up in this one and he took it literally cruising easy um track is 13.29 seconds to take the win behind him damien thomas stepping it up a notch um based on what we've seen this season 13.40 seconds and also qualifying from this race jaheem hales 13.51 seconds now track is if we're supposed to go based on times you know would say definitely rashid broadbell definitely um tyler mason and you know um, we'll go with hands of parchment, but Arlanda Bennett, he, he impressed me. He's definitely in with a shout as well, but you know, the race isn't won until it's ran. So we are, we've been seeing upsets all, um, championships. So you never know what's going to happen when these guys line up, but I'm looking forward to a really, really good race. Rashid Broadbent looks like he's ready to take down, you know, that national record held by Omar McLeod. Let's see what happens when he turns up tomorrow for his finals, but I'm just excited i'm excited all over i love what i see i'm seeing over the hurdles especially when it, we do we need to talk about what's going to happen on the world stage we're definitely up there challenging for medals i'm excited 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 about that but anyway track is let me know your thoughts what do you think about the men's and the women's 100 meter hurdles and 110 meter hurdles <laughs> what do you think of our prospects um going forward in the event as well do you like what you see i'm loving it like the video and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one bye